Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. Today I'm so excited because we are off to London and I haven't been in London for a while now, a really big while if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think the last time we were there was before Covid happened, so yeah, I'm so excited and pumped to go. I'm already ready to go, uh, João is still having a cigarette so he's he's gonna be ready any minute. Then we're gonna go and catch the train to go into London, obviously we are here in Bristol and uh, we have to catch the train and I'm super super pumped to go. I put on a stunning outfit but I will show you in a minute, um, mind me saying it's stunning but I think it is. I have some new bits going on as well that I want to show you, just like quickly show you something in my arm. And there's some new stuff over there as well for a next video, not for today. And yeah, I'll show you my outfit. I think over there will be easier because now we are actually in a rush. And I still have to, you know, work out what I'm going to do with Nikita because we're going to be away for two days, um, almost three days. So yeah, I don't know if we're going to have a sitter. Probably we will. And yeah, I just have to organize her food, her drink and all of that. And yeah, guys, I'm so excited. If you want to come with me to London, then please keep watching. Arriving at our hotel, super private, it doesn't even say the name of the hotel, how cute. This is a private members club hotel, number 20. Okay guys, we arrived at our hotel now, uh, it's called the Home House uh, Portman Square and it's so beautiful. I'm going to show you the room now, I'm going to turn you around and I'm going to show you the room. Okay, everyone, this is without shadow of doubt one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever been on. This is our entrance, so we have our luggage there already. This is Jean's coat, and we brought this big bag. And over here, we have I think this is some storage, some umbrellas, beautiful hangers, and beautiful hot wallpaper. We have um, the safe. Look at that, guys. Oh, it's huge, huge, and it's a double door um, closet just for our luggage. Over here is the bathroom, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. And over here we have this beautiful picture. I don't really know what this represents, but it's so beautiful. It's a religious, a religious theme. I think that's, um, yeah, for sure it's a religious theme. And then we have this stunning. Um, a furniture piece here in shades of gold how pretty with a beautiful vase I left my jacket there uh, forgive me and also uh, my uh, Marc Jacobs tote this is for my toiletries all of that on the floor you have this stunning carpet look at this it's so beautiful I think this is inspired a uh, Victorian inspired so so stunning and I really really love it on this side right here we have two pictures and we have the phone and over here we have the door. I'm gonna show you the bedroom first because it's so beautiful. So we have all of this space. Thank you, Thank you very much. Evening. Bye. Okay guys, literally when I was filming, uh, we had two glasses of champagne just delivered to our bedroom. How beautiful, I mean, this is actually a amazing service. Uh, so a glass of champagne for me and another one for João. Sorry about the interruption. Like I was saying, this is our stuff. And now I'm going to show you the bedroom. So this is the stunning hallway. 
and now the bedroom I hope you're ready because this, this is so beautiful guys look at this this is the bed oh my goodness I think I think definitely this is one of the most beautiful bedrooms I've ever been on and the funny thing is we booked this hotel online on booking.com this hotel it's a private members club but they rent uh, the um, the room so it's it's a normal hotel and it's also a private members club and we booked a bedroom uh, but it wasn't as big as this one this one is massive and i think it, they they given us an upgrade for a bigger bedroom i don't really know the name of this one all the the rooms have names but i don't really know um but definitely they gave us an upgrade and this room is so beautiful and I'm so happy. I think uh, they give us the upgrade because it's obviously our wedding anniversary and I did tell them that. So yeah, so starting over here, we have this beautiful picture, then a stunning wallpaper, very Victorian, I would, I would say. And then we have this lovely lamp with the beautiful um, little table. Uh, lots of this furniture have been collected over the years, the hotel set and they look for uh, original Victorian pieces or antiques. And I mean, this bed is just something else. Look at the beautiful um, red velvet, how pretty. And then the little, um, the little pillows, how gorgeous. This is just so gorgeous. I mean, I'm just so obsessed. This is my, my uh, Chanel bag. And over here, again, the same beautiful piece of furniture. Over here, another lamp. And then we have this beautiful makeup station. Look at this mirror. I mean, I wouldn't mind having these pieces at home, to be honest. I think they're just beautiful. And the stunning chair as well. And look at this lamp, how gorgeous. I mean, this is just a dream come true. I can just imagine myself just preparing and doing my makeup here, sitting like a lady. And this is so cute. And over here we have the beautiful window with a stunning, I think this is silk uh, curtains I read on the website. And then you have the air conditioning properly hidden. And then we have this um, uh, console here with some uh, shelves. This is for your uh, clothes. And then a beautiful mini bar area with lots of drinks, red wine, uh, some nuts, some Pringles, and lots of lots of stuff. As you guys can see, some free water for us, still and sparkly. And yeah, it's just it's just superb. I mean, look at this little space here with the double uh, double sofa and the little chair. How pretty! lots of pictures on the wall i mean it's just perfect and then you have this little side table here with some sanitizer and a lamp and this beautiful um long mirror where you can check your outfit this is my outfit by the way but I'll, i will show you better in a minute and Juan will film me and you'll you will see everything about my outfit over here we have this beautiful table with the glass um, top and they've left us some fruit and a little dish and fork to eat the fruit how cute I mean it's just just perfect and here is uh, the TV stand with some more storage we have a coffee table here how cute and then I will show you the bathroom because the bathroom is just so beautiful Okay guys, so now I'll show you the bathroom. First of all, look at this floor. This is all marble, how pretty. And then you have this beautiful area to wash. Look at this. It's a really, really antique. And then here, the towel rail, so cute. You also have the slippers and the towel. And then you have these gorgeous lights in each of the sides, how pretty, and all of these um, beautiful blue mosaics, so pretty. And you also have a little bit of marble behind. Then you have another area to wash, really cute, really small. Little mirror, a clock, the toilet. Oh my God, but this floor is just something else. Then you have a window and then you have a stunning bath. Look at that, oh my God. I think I'm gonna use this straight away. How pretty is this? All marble, guys. 
look at that lots of goodies for the bath you have some toilet uh, some towels with the name of of the hotel with the little alligator and then some more uh, products over there i mean this is just so pretty and i'm so so happy with this hotel guys I mean, let me know what you think, but I'm definitely obsessed. Over here on the door, we have two rooms. And then over here, you have the shower area with the big head over there. How stunning. I mean, it's just perfect. And now, me and Jerome are gonna enjoy our champagne. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you my outfit now. It's a bit dark, but I wanted to show you against the beautiful room. And I also have my champagne. I'm just gonna pop that there. So today I'm wearing my beautiful blazer. This one is from Tessa. No, sorry, it's by Hermano Cedrino. I've shown you this blazer several times. It has this beautiful uh, detail with stars on the buttons, so cute. And then underneath I'm wearing this stunning dress by Temperley. It's really pretty. It's a really a uh, cool dress because today is super hot. So I traveled in this. I came on the on the train with this because it's super flowy. It's loose. It doesn't tighten in my belly, which is the area you know I struggle a little bit with. So yeah, beautiful dress. I really love the lace over here and on the bodice. And this beautiful bow in satin is so cute. And then uh, I'm also wearing uh, my uh, Valentino flats. Uh, these are rock studs in uh, pink sequins and I really love it. My uh, sunnies, I think they're Valentino. Yes, Valentino. And then I'm wearing also these two. Uh, so this one right here is a new uh, watch Jean gave me from Just Cavalli. So pretty. I'm going to tell you more about this in another video. And this uh, bracelet is by... I don't remember the name. Uh, she's an American stylist, but I can't remember the name now. Zoe, do you remember the name, Jean? Don't remember. Uh, Rachel Zoe. Rachel Zoe. And I'm also wearing my cuff from Valentino. And this one right here is Kenneth J. Lane. It's a big, chunky uh, necklace that I really love. And I'm also wearing uh, my uh, Fendi hoops. And on my hands, I'm wearing my normal rings. And I'm also wearing, as you guys seen earlier, my Chanel bag. And that's the look of the day, guys. Having dinner in a Portuguese restaurant called Berardoro, just the name is just there, and we're having delicious food. My shoes are Gucci. I really love these ones right here. Jean, do you mind showing the shoes? 
don't know if he's showing you, but hopefully he is. And jewelry wise, I'm wearing all of these are Swarovski, all of these. And then my bracelet is also Swarovski. Uh, my earrings are Kennedy Lane. And my necklace is collaboration from H&M and Jean-Baptiste Valley. And yeah, guys, that's the look of the day. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to show the dress completely. It's like a strapless dress, but it's so stunning. And I'll do a blog post later. And that's it, guys. See you later. guys welcome back uh, I'm at home now um, we arrived two days ago but I haven't been filming because I was so tired honestly uh, it was a wonderful weekend I really really enjoyed it and I was just sorry that we couldn't stay any longer but yeah uh, it was good anyway uh, we had lots of fun uh, it was a beautiful um, couple of days and we, we enjoyed it really a lot I'm in a different setting, as you guys are noticing. I'm not in my closet, today is so hot. Uh, there is a heat wave in the UK, so I tried to go into my closet to start filming, but honestly, I couldn't do it. It's too hot today. So I'm in my garden and I just wanted to give you a sneak peek. Uh, this is one of the sides of the garden where we have this uh, brick wall. Uh, the uh, grass is just in front of me, but I think this is the better light for the filming. So that's why I'm sitting here and this is our couch with some pillows and I decided yeah let's let's get comfy and to tell you all about our weekend and then I think I will go up to my closet hopefully it will be a bit cooler and I'll show you what I got. I got a few things in London and I'm so excited to show you because they're really really stunning. <coughs> Pardon my voice. So yeah, just giving you a recap on what happened. Uh, we left Saturday morning, um, the 9th of July. Our wedding anniversary was on the 10th. So we went on the 9th. Um, I think we took the 11 o'clock uh, train, if I'm not mistaken, or half past 10, maybe it was half past 10, something like that. And we took it from Temple Meads here in Bristol. And then it was a two hour train ride, which was quite okay and the train was quite cool so it wasn't it wasn't that hot <clears throat> inside the train i mean uh, the day was scorching it was really really a uh, warm day which in the uk as you guys can imagine is really really rare so yeah we went on the train uh, had a lovely uh, train ride and then we got to london uh, paddington a train station and we were a bit tired to be honest with you because we woke up early so we decided to have lunch straight away uh, we went to a round the corner restaurant just close to paddington uh, called ask italian very very famous very known a very affordable restaurant so yeah we had dinner there uh, lunch there and i had just a simple i think i had lasagna something like that and joao had a uh, pasta carbonara which is one of his favorite dishes and yeah it was lovely after that we um, went back to paddington and we grabbed a taxi i think you guys have seen all of the images already because i'm i think i'm gonna add this little bit of the video at the end so that i'll uh, recap everything but yeah you guys have probably seen uh, the beautiful taxis here in london we, we grabbed a taxi and we went to our hotel so our hotel was called the home house uh, portman square uh, in London, I will leave the name written here so that you guys will have uh, a browse if you want to, if you want to. 
uh, it was a beautiful hotel it was uh, this is hotel but it's also a private members club and to be honest with you we had no idea we booked it through booking.com and we thought the room was beautiful we saw the pictures of the room with pictures of the hotel and we thought the room was so stunning and then after we book it uh, through booking.com uh, we went and searched a little bit more uh, of the hotel and then we noticed it was a private members club which is very very nice and different for us we've we've never stayed in a private members club it was our first time but we didn't really go there because of that we went there just because we booked the hotel and uh, we thought the rooms were really beautiful and very Victorian like, very um, period like. So that's why we booked it. Once we got there, um, we checked in, all of that, and then we went to our room, which was in a beautiful um, area in the hotel. They had um, also a, a restaurant area, they had different restaurants and bars. But the main restaurant area was like a garden area, which is really pretty. And to go to our room, we had to go through that garden area, which is really, really lovely. And when we got to our room, we were so happy. I mean, they upgraded us and we got a better room. So in the end, we got a better room than what we paid for. I think they did that because we did tell them it was our wedding anniversary, our 17th wedding anniversary. So it's a quite, a quite, big mark I would say in our in our marriage so we left a little note when we booked it that was our celebration for our wedding anniversary and um, yeah they upgraded us to a beautiful beautiful room and all the rooms had names which is so pretty it wasn't a number it was a name and ours was called Isabel and it was stunning uh, I've shown you before the room so you guys have checked it out already probably and uh, yeah it was just just wonderful uh, all the other rooms were probably really pretty as well uh, the one we had booked was really pretty uh, we have we saw some pictures and it, it looked really really nice so uh, if you are thinking about going there and you get another room don't worry they're all pretty i think our previous room the one we had booked was uh, smaller and this one's bigger, more uh, bigger area. But you know, the decoration was the same style, very Victorian-like, lots of vintage and uh, antiques in the room. So it was really, really stunning, and we were so happy. So yeah, guys, we went to the room. Um, they brought us a little glass of champagne, which was lovely as well. And uh, we had the champagne. Uh, we unpacked a little bit. And then for Saturday, we had a booking for dinner. We had a booking at eight o'clock to, um, to go to a Portuguese restaurant. And it was, it was going to be our first time in this restaurant. Um, and the booking was at eight. But as you guys probably had an idea, we arrived at the hotel in the afternoon. I think it was around four o'clock, half past three, four o'clock. So we decided to go to Harrods and browse a little bit. So yeah, we went to Harrods. Um, Harrods is a stunning luxury retailer in in London, and it was so busy. It was Saturday afternoon, so as you guys can imagine, it was so busy. We took a taxi from our hotel to Harrods because it was scorching hot, and it was very busy. And we decided just to take a taxi instead of taking the tube, which would be our usual way of getting there and uh, yeah we just decided to take the taxi so we got to Harrods and it was really busy and to be honest with you I had brand new shoes I mean they are not brand new but it was the first time I was wearing them which was not a very good decision um, I was wearing my flats a uh, Valentino um, a Valentino flats uh, pink ones with sequins um, I've shown you before on my I think I've shown you before I will show you again after this I don't know um, so yeah I, I was wearing those flats it was the first time I was wearing it and I thought oh they're flats I'm gonna be fine but I wasn't I wasn't they made they gave me horrible blisters and even though we took the taxi but I was walking around in Harrods and I was like feeling my feet were not in a very good condition but you know I powered through so you know when you are shopping when you're browsing you just want to um, 
look uh, at beautiful things and you just don't really worry too much so yeah we went to Harrods and it was lovely and after that uh, we had our booking at the restaurant we were gonna have dinner at a Portuguese restaurant we are originally from Portugal so our has restaurant was called Bar Douro which translated is uh, a bar of gold or something like that um, but Douro is also our one of our rivers so it could be like a river a bar or something like that but yeah we we um booked it online on on friday uh, friday afternoon i actually booked it i booked both of the hotels and um uh, it looked really nice like a tapas style and very portuguese so we wanted to try it so after harrods Oh, sorry. We still went at Harrods. We still went at the Bacara, uh, to the Bacara um, bar, which is inside Harrods, and we wanted to have a drink. Uh, so yeah, we went into Bacara um, bar, and it was really, really beautiful and all uh, decorated with crystal uh, from Bacara. So that was that was really lovely, and we had two cocktails. And we also had truffle fries, which was like, oh, so delicious. And yeah, that was lovely. And after that, we went to dinner. So I didn't really change to go to dinner. We went straight away into the, into the restaurant. We took the, the metro, the subway, um, because it was cooler then. It was already uh, fresher, although it's still very hot. As you guys can see, I'm wearing this, this really uh, uh, strappy top because it's really warm. And yeah, we went to have dinner at Bardoro and it was really, really good. It wasn't, I can't say it was amazing because it wasn't, it was good, but it wasn't amazing. Um, the portions was, were quite small. I know they were tapas, but still they were quite small. So uh, we were expecting more quantity because usually Portuguese restaurants, they serve a lot, a lot of food. And this one was more like a different style. So more like Spanish uh, si uh, size, um, Spanish size of tapas so yeah and we had a lovely uh, dinner um, we had the wine a white wine and it was really lovely and then we went back to the hotel and we had a rest and that was Saturday and I really enjoyed it although I had blisters on my, in my feet uh, because of the Valentino shoes and I know it's my fault I didn't really think that I was, was going to be walking a lot which is stupid when you go to when you go to London it's not really um, you know obviously it's uh, we're gonna walk so yeah it wasn't my best decision ever but yeah on Sunday uh, we had also the restaurant booked I booked it also online and the restaurant was called Bob Bob Ricard and I'll talk you I'll talk a little bit more about the restaurant in a minute but yeah we woke up quite late actually we woke up around half past nine almost ten o'clock on on Sunday on our wedding anniversary yeah so we wanted to stay a little bit longer in bed and just enjoy the beautiful room and then we got ready I put on my animal print uh, All Saints dress and uh, I was actually wearing all animal print that day and then we went for coffee we didn't book any breakfast in the hotel uh, because usually breakfasts here in the UK are amazing they are like very heavy and you can have uh, bacon and beans and uh, hash browns and eggs and all of that and I'm usually just a coffee uh, type of girl uh, for breakfast I me and João both of us are we don't really take Sorry, I think my eyeliner is going off. So pardon me if I look crazy, but it's because I don't have my sunglasses. I need my sunglasses. So yeah, we went for coffee and uh, the coffee was just around the corner from the hotel, but I was really, really struggling with my blisters on my feet, on the backs of my feet. That was where I got two huge blisters, they were huge, and they actually popped, the, the little blisters, they popped. Sorry about the description, I know it's horrible, but um, yeah, it was. I was not feeling the best. I had brought to London two pairs of flat shoes, the Valentino ones I wore on Saturday, then I had another pair of flats, um, Roberto Cavalli ones, and they're actually animal print, really pretty, but they still made my feet hurt. And I was actually wearing those, the Roberto Cavalli ones, when we went to uh, coffee. 
I don't remember the name of the coffee shop, but it was really nice. The, gr uh, the girls serving were really, really friendly and nice. And uh, yeah, we had a nice coffee there. And uh, honestly, I couldn't walk. I was feeling horrible. And um, that wasn't a good, <laughs> a good thing about our uh, wedding anniversary. But what can you do? You, don't, you can't predict these things. Sometimes things don't go perfect. And I just wanted to be real with you guys. <laughs> so I got blisters. And I decided I needed another pair of shoes because obviously I couldn't walk with any of the options I brought. I brought the two flats that were hurting me and then I brought another uh, pair of shoes which was like uh, super high heels for my um, uh, dinner for our wedding anniversary and I couldn't wear those either in London. They're like 10 centimeter high heels from Gucci so I was not gonna wear that and uh, i decided okay i need another pair of, of shoes uh, something that i could slip on and not hurt the backs of my feet it was actually the ankle part but at the back uh, where i the shoes were rubbing so joao being the most amazing uh, husband in the world i can't describe it any other way decided to go and pick me up an, a, a new pair of shoes and bring it to the, co to the cafe. I can't even speak because I'm, I was so, you know, he was so lovely and he was so amazing. I can't even describe, you know, we've been married 17 years together for a really long time and he still wanted to go and buy me a pair of shoes because I was not feeling well. So he was amazing and it was our wedding anniversary and that made me feel wow you know so what we did was we browsed on our phones like looking for um, an affordable pair of shoes and then i started to look and i saw uh, a pair from Dune that i actually liked um i think it was on harrods or on selfridges a pair of from dunes they were like slip-ons uh, closed in the front and open in the back so that would be perfect for my feet but then i also saw a pair of chloe's and they were also slip-ons and they were so stunning so i said to joao i really like the chloe ones but obviously they're much more expensive than the new dune ones chloe's are our um the luxury brand so i told him to just buy the buy the dunes and that will be fine so he went like a proper amazing husband he went and it was quite close so that's why he he decided to go it was like 10 minute walk 15 minute walk and uh, yeah he went and i waited at the cafe which is like ridiculous i know but i i literally couldn't walk um i wish i could show you my feet but i'm not going to show you it's horrible uh my blisters are like this this big guys so basically when he went to get me the shoes my feet were actually almost bleeding uh, i was with a uh, raw skin uh, at the backs of my feet because it was so so bad and that's how bad they were that's why i bought them a new pair of shoes so um he took around half an hour i think uh, to get me the shoes and when he got back uh, he called me and he said yeah yeah i didn't i didn't i saw the chloe's but they were too expensive so i didn't really I went to Selfridges and I bought the Dune ones. So yeah, I thought, yeah, it's fine. Uh, the Dune ones were really nice as well. They were black with uh, gold stars, embroidered gold stars. So very me, very statement. So I thought, yeah, that's fine. But then I saw him arriving with a Chloe bag. <laughs> so he surprised me and he bought me a brand new pair of Chloe shoes. I chose them. So I, I picked them up on the website. I saw, oh, these ones are pretty. And they are very classic style as you guys are going to see in a minute and um oh my god i was so happy because i thought he had bought the dune ones which were pretty but it wasn't the same as a brand new pair of chloe shoes this is actually my first pair of chloe shoes i've never bought anything from chloe and um Israel was so lovely and he brought me a beautiful bag uh, with the shoes inside and i changed immediately so I put on the, the shoes straight away and they were super comfy and I walked the rest of the day on them and the day uh, and the day after so Sunday and and the Monday and yeah that was lovely so after uh, breakfast and new shoes <laughs> it was a good start of the day to be honest a brand new pair of shoes so that was uh, one of my wedding anniversary gifts uh, which was not planned but happened and after that we went and looked at the stores we went to bond street where uh, you have uh, louis vuitton 
and the Chanel and Gucci and all of those stores and we passed through uh, Chloe but we didn't go in obviously because we didn't want to you know um, see the girls again because Juan was like talking with the sales assistants and they they loved that that was a guy buying something there for for his partner and yeah we didn't go in so we had lunch in a little bistro uh, close to uh, Bond Street and that was really lovely it was a vegan bistro so Juan had the vegetarian um, sorry, a vegan burger and I had sushi and uh, it was really nice with a glass of wine and then I had macarons for um, dessert and it was really lovely. After that, um, where did we go after that? So we had lunch, we shopped a little bit, oh yeah, so then we shopped, we went to um, at some stores and we bought a few things and uh, mainly for me, Juan was so, so lovely and I already had given him his present but he bought me more stuff because he just wanted uh, he wanted me to be happy and because I was hurting from my feet, it was, it was really lovely and I will show you in a minute everything I got uh, in London but after that, uh, we went home uh, we got uh, we got to the hotel and we went for a glass of um, a drink in the beautiful garden area in the in the hotel and uh, we had a glass of champagne well I got, had a glass of champagne Jean had a, a rum cocktail something like that and then I had another glass of champagne and Joao had a beer I think and after that we changed i've shown you my outfit um sort of i didn't show you completely which it, which was not very well planned i wanted to show you the dress but i i showed you uh, the whole outfit so the dress with uh, with the trench with the silk trench on top but you guys have an idea how it looked and then we went to dinner we took a taxi again and we went to the restaurant in soho called bob bob ricard and this was our first time there and it was lovely, the restaurant was really glamorous, it was Art Deco inspired and it was a very Orient Express inspired with little booths, it was really pretty, they had buttons um, in each booth, in each area, in each table, so that you would press and call for champagne and I put a picture here so that you guys can see and it was so glamorous and yeah we really enjoyed it. Um, uh, to be honest with you, it was the, the restaurant was expensive and we really enjoyed the food but we, we thought that the portions were a little small uh, that was the only thing I can say and also the service, it could have been better so we enjoyed the restaurant but there were some things that we really, we didn't like which, which is fine, we really enjoyed our wedding anniversary and having dinner there but there were some things that we didn't uh, really like I don't know if it was because it was Sunday or, or whatever um, but yeah it was lovely and uh, after dinner we, we stayed there for a long time as you guys can imagine we had entrees I had caviar I had um, so caviar was my entree then I have lobster uh, mac and cheese which was really lovely and then we had a little dessert I didn't want to go for dessert uh, although it was our wedding anniversary but um, the restaurant offered us uh, a little cake as a dessert and João had, what did he have? I don't really remember, but I popped some pictures here in the screen so that you guys can have an idea. And then that was it. Uh, we went back to the hotel. Uh, we also took a taxi because my feet were still hurting and I was wearing my high heels. Um, and then the next day, uh, we had all our bags. We were gonna go back to Bristol Monday, but we still decided to go for a little um, shopping and we went. Uh, we woke up really early and we went for shopping and it was really nice, we had a coffee as well and then we went for lunch at Café Concerto which is a beautiful restaurant, coffee shop um, place in um, Oxford Street, is it Oxford Street? I don't really remember but it's close to Fortman, Fortman and Mason I'll leave the name here so you guys can check it out and it was also Art Deco inspired, I'll leave a picture um, and it was so beautiful, so beautiful. And we had, I had, um, what did I had? Sorry to be rambling, but it was really delicious. I had a burger, which is not very common for me. I had a burger and João had, uh, I think he had 
carbonara again if i'm not mistaken I th yeah i think he had carbonara again it was lovely and then after that we just went on the tube and we uh, caught the the train back to to bristol and here we are present day today is today's tuesday and uh, i decided on filming although it's so so hot you can see the sky it doesn't it doesn't look that like it's hot but it's so it's boiling so um i still decided to show you what i got in london so that's what we're gonna do now i'm gonna go upstairs to my closet hopefully the temperature will be cooler and i can show you the beautiful things i got in london including my new shoes from chloe Okay guys, we are in the closet, as you guys can see, and it's actually a, a bit cooler now, so I'm actually happy for that, because I, I was thinking I'm gonna boil over there. And usually my closet is really warm, and I can't even open the windows because they are, um, our, our closet is just next to a, a street, and then you can hear the cars, and I think you can still hear the cars with the, with the windows closed, but, Anyway, I'm going to show you now everything I got in London and uh, sorry about uh, the explanation outside in the garden was so long. The explanation, the uh, remembering everything we did, it was really, really long. I think it was like 20 minute rambling, so I'm sorry about that. But I just wanted to tell you everything and uh, yeah, I just, I just wanted you uh, to know everything that happened and yeah. Let's start with the showing of the stuff I got in London. And the first thing I got was this beautiful bag that Sean got me with a beautiful bow and Chloe written right there, how cute. When he got me the, the bag in the coffee, he said, oh, just smell the bow because they sprayed it with perfume. And how beautiful is that? And it smells still, it still smells like perfume and it's, it's really, really amazing. And yes, yeah, so I got a pair of shoes uh, from Chloe. I'm going to show you actually the box. I'm going to grab it and show you the box. Okay, guys, so I went and picked up the box uh, because she's so pretty and uh, looks like that. White with a beautiful beige uh, writing uh, from Chloe. And then inside you had the shoes, which I already took off. As you can imagine, I wore them straight away. And then inside you had the dust bag, a little card and some uh, tissue paper for the shoes. So that's how they came. The box also smelled like perfume, which is lovely. And then I got this beautiful pair of uh, sandals um, from Chloe. And how stunning are they, guys? I mean, they're just beautiful. Uh, this is called the Woody Sandal. I think it's Sandal, it's called the Woody Sandal. And they have different colors, but I got this black one uh, with the Chloe written in white. And... Um, and they are so pretty, so beautiful. And this is a very uh, famous shoe from um, from Chloe. They are really, really beautiful. And I thought they're going to be comfy because they don't have packs. So it's just a slip on style. And that's what I wanted and what I needed uh, for my poor feet that are still recovering. And these are so beautiful, guys. This is a very uh, famous shoe for Chloe, as you guys know. And I saw some reviews online saying that they weren't that comfy, but I found them extremely, extremely comfortable. I can do a review if you guys want uh, on these shoes. I think it would be uh, important because when I bought them, I was actually looking at the reviews to see if they were comfortable. I may do a review on these ones. They are just so pretty. Um, so they have this uh, brown uh, shade and then a beautiful canvas. This is canvas in black with a beautiful uh, Chloe uh, name written on them. I bought a size 6. I'm usually a size 5 but I bought a 6 to be more comfortable and they are just so pretty. What do you guys think? Please comment down below. This was one of my uh, gifts uh, uh, for my wedding anniversary because Juan went and got them and I chose them but he still got them. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. I really like this little um, padding here, this is a padding uh, that says Chloe uh, on them, so pretty and yeah, I just I just thought they were so beautiful. Let me know your comments uh, on the comments uh, what you think about this beautiful pair of shoes. I wanted the black one because obviously I have lots of black in my in my closet, so I thought I'm gonna wear the black more. But I also loved the beige one with beige uh, letters i think the letters was actually white and they were like beige colored and there were also pink version a red version and the black yeah i think there those were the colors 
but I really really love them and uh, these ones were around 300 pounds if I'm not mistaken I'll leave them linked down below and uh, so that if you guys are interested you can you can check them out but they are beautiful and I wore them the whole day after um, our coffee shop I, I wore them the whole day and they were a bit rubbing here on the top because I have a really high arch but they were super comfortable so I was super happy I got them and yeah guys this was the first thing I got in London and I was so happy well Jerome got me and uh, it was not the only thing so we also went to Fenwick which is an amazing store in uh, I think it's Bond Street as well and it's a luxury store and they give me this massive bag because I bought I bought two things uh, not a massive um, haul but yeah I bought two things in in Fenwick and the first one came on this little bag and I, I find I think it's so cute they give me a little bag inside the other bag um, yeah it's Bond Street it does say there uh, Fenwick is in Bond Street so we went in Fenwick and I saw this and I, I had to buy it. It's so pretty and I, I just decided on buying it. It was a bit expensive, but it was our wedding anniversary. So I just wanted to treat myself. So I bought a headband. There you go, guys. How beautiful is this? Um, so it's um, silk, uh, thick silk actually, a uh, headband with animal print in shades of brown, white and black and the brand is Alexander de Perry. Um, yeah, made in France, I will show you, made in France and this inside is velvet, extremely good quality and it's animal print. I'm going to pop it on so that you guys can see how it looks like. I think it's so pretty and I think it matches everything on that day I was actually wearing animal print so when I saw this headband I thought I need that headband in in animal print as well I think it's so gorgeous so beautiful and someone is ringing at the door so bear with me okay guys that was the post I ordered a few things from Amazon they just arrived but I'm not going to show you now because obviously this video has been a while now and it's gonna be huge if I show you but yeah I got this beautiful headband in Fenwick and the price was a bit steep uh, it was 93 pounds for headband but you guys know I love headbands I haven't been wearing them recently that much but I think they are beautiful I really like the Gossip Girl vibes like a Blair Waldorf vibes you have the uh, symbol from the brand there and it's so pretty and I saw it and I wanted to buy it from Alexander de Perry and they had others really really beautiful ones but I really like animal print so I got this one let me know what you think you probably think I'm crazy to buy a headband that costs almost a hundred pounds but what can I say I just like like this these sorts of things and I'm actually boiling now I think I'm sweating underneath my fringe but forgive me I think my makeup it's also uh, coming off quite quickly so I might just do the video and then go and remove the makeup because obviously it's so hot uh, right now it's really really warm and yeah moving on guys on Fendwick I also bought something else I bought this and they pulled it so beautifully look at that uh, I think it's it's just stunning with the stickers with F on them I'm just gonna open it so that you guys see what I got and I think you're gonna laugh because it's it's a bit ridiculous I know but I know it's a bit ridiculous but what can I do what more, more paper what can I do guys I bought a dress and it's also animal print I bought this beautiful dress uh, on Fenwick it was on sale uh, with balloon sleeves and uh, I'll put it on and I'll insert a little clip here so that you guys can see how it looks like but it's this beautiful animal print with a beautiful um, I don't know how to call this but you guys know like a collar beautiful collar with a stunning button it's actually um, a heart how cute and this one is from the brand Cross, is a 36 European size, which is a size 10. And it was originally £140. 
then it dropped down to 70 and I bought it for 42 so that's an amazing amazing discount uh, in my opinion and I bought it in Fenwick and there were others there that I really liked but this one obviously is animal print it matched my headband and I thought I need it definitely need it and I really like the fabric too very luxurious and yeah I bought this little dress it's a knee length dress but I'll, I'll, I'll put it on so that you guys can see how it looks like and it's a really good fabric because it's not wrinkled and it's been in the bag for a while now so yeah guys and last but not least I got another uh, thing so I got the dress I got the headband I got the shoes and I got something from here I mean this is very exciting I love Fendi as you guys know I've recently recently bought a pair of earrings with a huge F and this is just when I saw it we went on a Fendi store on Bond Street on uh, this was uh, when was this this was Sunday no Monday Monday and I got it Monday was it Monday or Saturday I can't remember but yeah we, we went on Fendi and we bought something there and I'm gonna show you I really like the little bow and to be honest I usually keep these bows uh, when they have the the logo from the brand so that I can put it in my hair I use it uh, around my wrist you know so cute so pretty and yeah the little bag and then I got something from Fendi and I got the receipt. I'm not going to show you the receipt, obviously. But I got this little box from Fendi and I'm so excited. I haven't opened it yet. It's I'm opening, uh, open, opening it with you guys. So yeah, ready? Oh my God. I haven't seen this yet uh, because the sales assistant took my item and went somewhere in a different room to... Uh, Put it away and i haven't seen this part so this is really cute it's like a little bag oh i love it and then you have this here which is like a little uh cleaner uh from uh, from fendi and look at that you probably know what it is now look at that how cute oh i love it this uh can be closed like this and then you have this little keychain. I think it's a keychain um, next to it. So it's obviously sunglasses. You guys know I love sunglasses. So I bought a new pair of sunnies from Fendi. And I mean, this bag is amazing. Um, so modern, I really love it. And I really love this bit here. So my sunnies, I'm just gonna take the plastic out, are at this one's right here, guys. How pretty. So they are brown, square shape, and then you have the little logos here. I don't know if you can see. Um, it's dark brown and light brown. And then, oh my God, so pretty. And then the handles have the little Fendi uh, logo right there. They are very slim and golden, which I love. And they look like this. This is a different style for me. I don't really have any pair in my collection with this with this shape but they are so pretty i mean so gorgeous i think this is very glamorous again i love glamorous uh, sunnies and glamorous items so yeah i'm gonna put them, put them poop. <laughs> i'm gonna put them on so that you guys can see how they look like oh, oh my god i love them they are so chic I mean, let me know what you think, but I'm, I'm just in love. They're huge, massive, I know. I know some of you don't, don't really appreciate massive sunnies, but I do. I think they're just gorgeous, just gorgeous. Look at that, how pretty. The day is actually getting really dark now. It's so hot, but it's you can see lots of clouds going around. So I'm sorry if the light now is not, it's not amazing, but I mean, let me know what you think about my sunnies. I think they're just spectacular and uh, they're, they're beautiful. And oh, I love them so much. Do I look good? Let me know, guys. Let me know what you think. I really, really love them. And I'm so happy I got them. 
and they had other styles there but this ones were just like unbelievable and uh, i love like the 70s inspired style i think it's very 70s and it's now in in fashion and it's so pretty i love the handles very chic and i love that they are brown i usually go for black but i, li I like the brown uh, i think they're really really pretty let me know what you think about my new sunnies i'm gonna put them away and i love the bag as well so cute i think they're gonna be super well protected in this bag i mean look at that oh, love it <laughs> love it okay guys so these were the things i bought in um in london when i was there i think i've shown you everything yes i did i've shown you everything uh yeah this was what i got in london i hope you enjoyed all the things i got i hope you enjoyed um coming with me to london i know i didn't film too much i didn't vlog too much but some of the situa situations didn't really allow me to film for example in harrods i did try and i was told off several times especially when i was in chanel i still got a little bit in chanel but they they told me to delete it and i was quite naughty i didn't um but yeah they, they didn't really want you to film so yeah i i did a little bit but it wasn't it wasn't a lot i still hope you you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you leave me your comments down below and uh, let me know what you think about my purchases and also the shoes that ron bought me and obviously i chose them but he bought me the shoes and it was lovely and yeah guys let me know what you thought about this video if you enjoyed it if you'd like to see uh, more vlogs like this i would be happy to do them and i hope you guys have a lovely lovely week and um, day ahead it's still early and uh, until the next video uh, sunday at 7 pm i wish you an amazing week i love you so much and i'll see you later guys bye bye